Does it sound okay? Yeah. I, I mean, you I'm don't, but it does. Or... It's a little loud, but I have my monitor up pretty high. Let me turn that down a little bit. Dude, I've spent like... Got some chicken noodle on deck? No, I had Hot Pockets. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going to have time to eat, and I stopped at CVS. I've spent today on the way home, or on the way to the hotel, and last night door dashed like 80 bucks worth of CVS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like meds and like Gatorades and like... Uh, yeah, got a Gatorade, got tea, got uh, vitamin C... I went through a whole box of throat lozenges already, so I got another box of those. Mm-hmm. I've about gone through the whole roll of paper towels or uh, mm-hmm. toilet paper in the hotel room, so I grabbed some tissues. Oh, I um, thought you were just shitting a lot. No. Nah. <laughs> some some Zycam. Uh, Zycam. Our right, guest yes now. now. Welcome, Welcome, everyone. everyone. 32nd episode of the Poor Choices Show. I am your host, Chris. I'm here with my co-host, David. And to Jason Sudeikis, Lance Armstrong, James Gandolfini, Exhibit, and my mother. Happy Happy birthday. birthday. Let's make some poor choices. The fridge keeps them pretty cool. That's hot one. <laughs> Fuck. Subscribe. Ba-tow, ba-tow, ba-tow. A couple of those names that got some uh, current meaning to me. Like my mother? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, is that uh, show you watch? Sedacus? Mm hmm. Um, I just started, I know I'm a little behind times. I just started, um, Ozark. Uh, that, oh, that's Bateman. Bateman. Shit. Yeah. I was talking about the show, the other show you watch the soccer one. Oh, that's him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ted Lasso. Yeah, We're the that's Millers. Show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well then I guess just one does, um, is James Gandolfini. Cause I'm rewatching Sopranos for like the fourth ish time, give or take. Also, that's like my other show I'm watching. How, uh, how long is that series? Um, I want to say four, maybe five seasons. You've That's never it? seen it? No, mm-hmm. I thought Man. it was like 40. No, great, like some great Grey's Anatomy show. shit. Mm-mm. It's just like The Wire. It's like four or five just amazing seasons, and that's it. Why was it so you've never seen for so long? I mean, it's still, I'm rewatching it, dude. It's And they've made movies and yada, yada. Mm. Very good, very good watch. Get you into that mafioso. Makes you want to eat spaghetti. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. <laughs> like, I, I swear, like, I'll be watching it. I'm like, mm, I'm mm. going to go make some pasta. <laughs> I guess that's a better takeaway than like, mm, I'm going to go murder some people or hijack a car. Or, you know. Yeah. If you come out of watching The Sopranos with, you know what sounds good right now? Fucking macaroni grill. <laughs> yeah, macaroni grill. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know. better than homicide, right? Mm hmm. Nothing. So nothing. Uh. Nothing relevant oh. for Lance or Exhibit? Uh, let's see. We got relevant? Who, well, what, in, Lance, in your life right now. What Lance was it? Uh, Armstrong. <laughs> Remember? Mm. Remember the uh, <laughs> the 20 words or less game? Where you were like, no, oh, no, bass, nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing relevant that I can think of. Um, no, I got nothing. How about Exhibit? Um, nope. Hmm. Okay. Well, when when I read them, I started thinking about uh, "Pimp My Ride," obviously, because that's like sure. no one no one knows Exhibit as a rapper. They know him as that. He's got a couple decent songs, but that's about it. <laughs> decent yeah. at best. Uh, yeah. And I got to thinking, like, what are some other things that you could pimp? Boats. Yeah, but like more like ridiculous, oh. like a bathtub. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, like, like a like a pimp my cubicle for your I, office. I was saying like it work. Pimp my dishwasher. Yeah. What would uh, um what would you I guess other than like a TV screen on the door, how would you pimp your dishwasher? Um I was thinking more like like a clear kind of like a washing machine, like a clear so you could see the dishes and on the inside there's like LEDs matching with like the rhythm of the the washer and like um it's all touch screen and it's like painted or it's like 
vinyl wrapped in a certain around the window that you're looking through is like a design. It has um, like built in speakers. Speakers and then like the the trays, like the pull out the top and bottom would be customized somehow. Like I, all my prongs could be like Harry Potter wands sticking up kind of thing. Mm. Um <laughs> Hey dog. We uh we we noticed that you use that top rack a lot, so we chrome plated it and put some Harry Potter wands. <laughs> That's right. I and like we it. put two twelve inch alpines. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking dishes would be shattered in there. Yeah. Got fucking grandma's wine glass from like nineteen twenty. Just pimp my washing machine. In my like washing that. machine. What would that do? That's dishwasher. How would you pimp oh, a washing dishwasher? Machine? That's what I meant. Uh, same thing. Okay. But but like the music, like you know how it just like goes into like that cycle, it's like back and forth, back and forth. It would like go into cycles with the beat of the music. Do, 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 and it would like play do, different do, do. songs depending on what cycle it was on. Like spin cycle would be yeah. like you spin me right round, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then like the like the one that's like like back and forth could be like um could be like what's that what's that uh uh, the outcast, shake it, shake it, shake, shake See? it. See, okay, yeah, uh huh, cha, 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 yeah, yeah. I love it. I love you know, it. So not so much like pimping, but that should be like a. Uh, now that I think about it, like a customizable feature, because they have those like like we have Samsung washer and dryers, and right. when they're done, they're like dee 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 dee, dee and they like they beep for like thirty seconds, like the most annoying fucking just. It's like it's like a so 2004 to, ringtone from yeah, Motorola. So you yeah. should be able to just customize them and like. I like that idea. Make sounds or music, like when it's done, just have it scream like, "Hey, motherfucker, your shit's done!" Like upload, just like you can on Waze, like upload a celebrity's like yeah. voice to like tell you, you know, whatever. I like and that it, idea. And it could like commentate as it's going. You could have like Morgan Freeman, like just look at the way those things are spinning in there. <laughs> <laughs> or Matthew McConaughey, like, yeah. what is clothes? <laughs> <laughs> I'd get uh, I get Bob Ross. He'd be like, well, look at just, we'll just put a little happy detergent in here, and yeah, you're gonna have to get an AI for him. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, same with you. Probably all. gonna have to get an AI for all of them because yeah, that's true. Uh, I can't. Which reminds me, another one that would be good, but he just passed away. Did you see that? I did the, vo the voice himself, Mr. Yeah. James James Earl. Man, rest in peace. What a legend. Do you see uh the oh well, no, not the Twin Towers. <laughs> Just, uh what's what's the other the other tall building? Was it the New World Trade Center? Empire Some tall State? building. Yeah, that's what it was. I was gonna say the uh the other ones aren't there anymore. They uh <laughs> they like lit up somehow. I don't know if it was like lights inside or I don't think it was uh like a projection, but it was I'll see let me see if I can find it and I'll send it to you. Is it, uh, and I'll I'll let you explain it. Uh, good call on the Empire State Building because your boy, uh, we're all we're all nine eleven out. Uh, <laughs> is that a laugh? Are you good? You, you gonna make yeah, it? no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Did you see something funny? Yeah, you said I'm all nine eleven out. I was like, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I just sent it to you. Oh, with Vader on it, that's so cool. Yeah, I don't know if it was. I guess it it was like a projection. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'll post that, but I thought that was pretty cool. So is that like his ultimate is being Darth Vader's voice? Like his career, like that's his shy, that's the top? Because I can uh, think of a lot of good stuff he did, but that might be the the most For people like iconic. you that are like, yeah, that can like appreciate movies and roles and things. But honestly, that's, I think I just recently learned that was him. So um, for you, I mean, Mufasa is a big one, right? Yeah. Being Mufasa and um, the blind guy at the end of Sandlot. Yeah, that's who I think of. I'm pretty sure uh -huh. that's... Well, also, I feel like I just like recently looked, either heard something or watched something or looked something up about Sandlot. So maybe that was like in my mind when okay. I saw the news. But yeah, that's... that's a, He was 93. He looked damn good for 93. He did. Looked damn good. And then I looked up, it was like his family, and like I looked up his son, and he was white as shit. And I was like, what the hell? Was he adopted? <laughs> did he marry a white chick? Uh, he did. His second wife was white. Mm -hmm. What was his first wife? I don't know. I didn't I look that up. I figured you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they were married in like the 60s and 70s, and not for very long. So either she passed or he passed on her. I don't know. Gotcha. He went. 
He went, I'm about to be in Star Wars. Yeah. Deuces. He gone. So, yeah, I thought that was uh, that was cool. Wait, what was cool? Him, him dying? No. The <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the force isn't as strong as you think. But, uh, no, I, the just that projection on the Empire State Building. Oh, yeah, that, was, that cool. was cool. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the death, not so much. <clears throat> not so much. <clears throat> not so much. Not so much. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> uh, I might have to watch a movie of his tonight. I thought about it last night, but I was already watching uh, Foosball and just... <clears throat> Yeah, that was uh, that was ugly. I still don't really have anything because I didn't have service in the lab today. And this fucking dude that, like, I guess he's technically an employee of our company, but, like, he's only out here supporting this one job. And the motherfucker can talk. Yeah. Like, do you try to throw in signals like, I don't want to, like, take some step backs? And, uh, like, not just, really, like, step backs. Or just kind of like, just do, like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it just doesn't fucking... Some people can just talk, man. It's just, just yeah. word vomit. Like, well, could you like, could you repeat what he said, or were you like zoned out? Were you, uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think most of it I could. Like, it yeah. wasn't like boring conversation. It was just like, like, dude, I'm I'm only out here two days. I'm trying to get this shit done. <laughs> Never going to see you again in my life. Yeah, like, well, let's no, go. I'll, I'll probably be back out here like next week or the week after. Oh, but okay. like, I'm not trying to keep coming back out here. So, especially if you're going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like this like he's got to be like 50s 50 year old like big black dude like fat dude he's retired was did the navy for 30 years is retired and so you just, you know they can fucking talk to everybody whales oh but, well <laughs> they don't yeah. like swimming yeah true or water or <laughs> yeah yeah there wasn't a lot of great football this weekend there was a lot of there was a few that were really good but most of it was not that great yeah, there's a lot of uh, surprise, not surprises, mm-hmm. but like, like it's week one. Yeah, just like you hear the the stats and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, there like, was a uh, lot of that. You're right. So only two quarterbacks threw for over 300 yards. Was that probably Derek and hmm, who else threw? Um, was Derek one of them? Nope, he wasn't. Oh wow. Nope. Um. Was Richardson Anthony? Nope. Give me, give me uh, divisions. I feel like this is gonna be easy. Well, I need to. <laughs> I got a lot of people to choose from. Um, Baker. Nope. One's AFC, one's NFC. I can give you that. Okay. Um, did <sighs> one's an overrated bitch? Did Mahomes throw for three hundred? It's not overrated. He's a bitch though. <laughs> <laughs> so no he was not one um someone you don't like he's an overrated you don't bitch. like him either Dak. We, talk, we talked shit about him last week was it Dak prescott no <clears throat> one of them's an overrated bitch <laughs> he's in the afc was it the east i think it's the east oh is it tua yeah he's one damn he threw for 300 sure did Oh. Well, he he led the league last year. There was what one eighty yard pass to Tyreek, right? So I'll take them. I'll take them fantasy points. That's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, and the other one is uh, I don't know how to give you a clue without giving it away. It's NFC. Is it Kyler? No. Um, he played his former team. Oh, was it Stafford or Golf? Stafford. Stafford. Did he really? That's surprising. He that sure low scoring did. of a game. Wow. And he lost Puka in like the third-ish <laughs> yeah. quarter. That was a great um, game. That was one of the really good games that weekend. It was. Mm-hmm. Uh, more than half threw for under 200 yards, and only one yeah. threw for under 100. Oh, number one overall draft pick? Is that who you're talking about? What was it, like Fuck 96 yards or something? Yeah, something like that. Thank God for defense, man. Mm. And special teams, Jesus. Well, speaking of defense and special teams, oh, I was uh, going to say that he was also. Did you see? He's the first first round, first overall quarterback, in like twenty five years or something like since, that since uh, David Carr in two thousand two. Yeah, mm-hmm. so they were like four oh fourteen and one or something like that. Mm-hmm. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Um, but yeah, so I'm sure you heard the uh, the <clears throat> Dak Prescott news. Yeah, he's um the highest paid NFL player in history, which is crazy. Yeah, well. We we talked about it before. Any 
above average quarterback that signs a new contract. It's just going to keep going to be the yeah. It yeah. doesn't indicate them being the best. Yeah. But I, so I was thinking about it, and I'm like, as a Cowboys fan, I'm not happy. No, I wouldn't be because we paid. So paid put, it per, put it in, put it in perspective for you. Two hundred and forty million dollars buys you one hundred and seventy nine yards and a touchdown. <laughs> but a win the 136 million that we gave CD apparently buys you five catches for 61 yards. Micah Parsons, who had a sack, is on a contract year. We're gonna have to pay him big money. Demarcus Lawrence, who had two sacks, is on a contract year. We're gonna have to he's, pay him. He's nah, he's gone. And then Eric Kendricks, who we only signed a one year deal, had two sacks and an interception. We're gonna have to, if we want to keep him, we gotta <clears> pay him. You're not going to be able to because you're going to want to keep your Jerry's going to want to keep CD and Micah and between well, we already his, paid CD or he's my, gonna, my point is that we paid all this money. I, granted, it's only week one, but we didn't win that game because the people that we just signed three hundred and seventy six million dollars in contracts. Well, we got I guess we'll have to talk week 17 and see if that money makes sense because it, it could. I mean, if you guys. Maybe take your division and get a first round buy. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Well, not if they have nothing to do with it. Also, how about your boy Brandon Aubrey hitting his second 66 yard field goal, even though there was a delay a game and then almost attempting a 71 yard field goal. I was so upset when they took him out. Uh, I was too. Even, you know, who else was, was, um, bag boy. Yeah. He went, Oh, they're taking him out. And I was like, you know what? That's Fuck how it. I Let feel. Him kick it, dude. Let him kick Let him it. Kick it. The fact He's that he also made it. he made that sixty six yard field goal was outside. It wasn't in a controlled environment. It was right. out in the middle of Cleveland. It's a fucking and, beast, dude. It's some fucking soccer players. Man, he is he's gonna he's at some point gonna have yeah. to either tie or break the it's, record. It's gonna let happen. Him. They gotta let it's him. It's gonna happen. Justin's too old now. He don't have the leg for it anymore. He's just like significantly dropped off from like beyond fifty. They said yeah, he was like, he, what, one of six last year from 50 yeah. plus? When like, he missed that one on Thursday, I was like, we're not winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's, this game's over. <laughs> I said, we're not game. winning when I made my picks. It, you know, I was pissed that night, obviously, for obvious reasons. But the next morning, I woke up and was kind of like, you know what? We played good enough to win. Yeah. It just didn't happen. You know, the cards fell the wrong way. And I was also nervous and excited when, when, Isaiah called it and they hadn't reversed it yet. And they show Harbaugh going, stay out there. We're going for two. I was like, fuck, he's doing that again. Yeah. Yeah. I remember last time we did that. I like the, not a bad call the way that their defense was playing to drive down the field again and score. Yeah. Uh, Not a bad call, but it didn't, you know, I did like Mahomes' advice to likely though. I don't know if you heard that. No. He said, next time wear white cleats. Ooh, and I was like, good. that's like low key, the best fucking advice. That's really that, like, good. You can give someone also the fact that likely, did you see him get crushed? And I thought he like lost his arm or broke. Yeah, his I was like, oh, he's out for six weeks and then comes yeah. back in two plays later. Like, yeah. the fuck? I was like, that was from? he must have been like, nah, I'm good. Oh, yeah. The, you know, like it looked like he fell from like nine feet in the air right on his shoulder. And I was like, all right, he's done. Yeah. Yeah. That was, um, that was wild. Uh, did you watch old uh, Tyreek Hill's body cam footage yet? I did. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think I both think, sides played it wrong, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I think, it, especially after the fact, like Tyreek, you know, in the in the media is like, oh, I didn't do anything fucking wrong. My mom taught me to be respectful and blah, blah, blah. Like, he was 0% Like, motherfucker, respectful. you didn't put your goddamn window down, and then you're going to yell at him for tapping on your window. Like, and this, is, yeah, this and he goes was tossing into the whole out. other fucking conversation about... You know, the police brutality shit. Like, if you just fucking listen and do what you're told. Right. Shit's not going to escalate. He, he was yelling about, I'm just being a black guy in America. And I was like, oh, my God, here we yeah. go. But on the flip side, the cop could have also handled it. Yeah, I, like, he he was very short-tempered, it seemed, or he just had yeah. some kind of vendetta. I mean. He's having a bad day, or he probably had, went into it thinking, like, I, uh, I don't know what he did to get pulled over. He was speeding. So, he was doing like 60 and a 45, something like that. Okay. So it seemed the cop probably went into it like this dude thinks, because I don't know if he knew right away he that he was he Tyreek. But he, he didn't it. even, when he was writing him up, he didn't. He said, you know how that is, right? And he went, no. And he went, that's, that's one of the yeah. star players for the Dolphins. He was like, oh, okay. 
Yeah, like he, but, didn't, he didn't give a shit. I mean, you see a three, four hundred thousand dollar car, and you're going a into dude it, in, a dude in diamonds. Like, yeah, you go into it thinking that, like, they already have the mentality, like, I have money, so I'm better than you. Like, I'm above mm-hmm. the law. Mm-hmm. So, like, I I get it. It doesn't make it right. No, uh, but to that, on Tyreek's point, you got to just like let it happen. And then do something about it after the fact. Like, if he's an asshole, then press charges. Yeah. Like, don't go back and forth in the moment. Exactly. Don't don't be the same person that he's being. Because that's just going to make everything. It's going to make your life worse. It's going to make everything worse in the media. And big old teddy bear Calais Campbell just like, hey, I just want to see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, Poor guy got in handcuffs, man. I was like, Calais is like the nicest dude in the world. (sighs) Yeah. It was a weird situation. I'm just glad Tyreek played and had a good game for for myself. And <laughs> I'm guessing you got the dub. Got the dub. Got the and that's dub. the that's a league you weren't too excited about. Yeah, you know what? Um, basically, everyone played really well. Um, I also took the dub in week one of FanDuel, which was great to get some money week one. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It was a good week, aside from Thursday. That was like, not a good day. Yeah. Well, can't win them all. This is true. I, you know what? I also told myself that we're going to be a five, six loss team this year. This is one of them. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. The way the Bengals are playing and the Browns are playing, really, we've so, got to compete with Justin Fields. And that's, yeah, you know, I was thinking about that, and that the same thing happened. I don't know if it was was it the year the Bengals made the AFC Championship like two years ago, right? Um, they did. It was three years ago. Okay, I I'm want pretty to say. sure that's the year that Joe Burrow looked like this week one. So they've looked like this the past couple of years, but like early they, on, early on. But then once they get it together, yeah, they're, they're so too I'm far not, gone. They're too far I'm, gone once they get it together. And that's why they're missing playoffs. Yeah, but uh, I don't think your division is. Oh, they'll be fine. The Bengals will be fine. Yeah, I will say losing Joe Mixon hurts a lot because he still looks really good. Yeah. Zach Moss is decent. He's OK. Yeah, shit. Um, but they didn't have T Higgins playing Jamar and all his BS going on. And, you know, yeah, it was, eh, it was, it was the Patriots. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they have the best <clears throat> been a backup for a while quarterback to start. I think Jacoby Brissett, I think is solid, solid yeah. choice. He's not bad at all. Yeah. I mean, he did it for the Browns. He played great. He did it for the Dolphins. He played great. I mean, he's been good. Let's talk about the Browns for a second. Oh, they suck. (laughs) Deshaun Watson is so overpaid. It's crazy. (laughs) So just to go even further than that, this dude got a guaranteed contract. Mm -hmm. Sure did. He got sacked six times and had the 27th ranked QBR in week one. Hell yeah. Fuck him. (laughs) And the the Browns. you, You want to know the cherry on top of that? Please tell me. Baker Mayfield had the number one QBR week one. Suck on that, Cleveland. Like, what do you should do? Have, you should like, have stuck with your dude. And now they have to stick with this dude because they got to pay him no matter what. That's right. Now, they still have a, a stellar defense, even though you guys uh, <sighs> looked really good. Their defense is still great. Um, yeah, but you can't. there's one thing for a quarterback to like, like Trent Dilfer, to not lose you games. But it doesn't matter how deep, how well, good he defense threw the ball is. Like, Twelve if times a game. Your quarterback <laughs> loses you games. Yeah, this is true. And Trent didn't because he wasn't given the opportunity right. to. He's, <laughs> that's when uh, Brian Billick would be like, "Yeah, you're going to throw it 14 times today," yeah. and then Jamal Lewis is getting the rest. Sorry, dude. Yeah. And those 14 between five and 10 yards, please. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, it worked. Yeah. It worked for sure. It worked. Yeah. Overall, it was a great week one. I think saw some overtime, saw some walk off kicks. Um, Couple injuries though. Jordan Love, that's tough. Um, yeah, and and Puka, that's tough. Puka's yeah. tough. And then um, <laughs> just to insult the injury for the Panthers, uh, what was it? Derek Brown out for the season? I don't know who is that. They just paid him a ton of money. Are you sure that's the name? Derek Brown rings. That sounds like you. Uh, you like created a black player in Madden, and you're like, yeah, yeah Derek know. Brown. I mean, it does sound like that a little bit, <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Derek Derek Brown. <laughs> Uh, Chuba on. Hubbard, it, maybe? Yeah. Internet's trying not to internet. What's happening? Derek Brown, yeah, you're right. Out for the season with a knee injury. Hmm. Yeah, and they, and they just paid him a ton, too. Well, 
Was it guaranteed? Got that right here for you. Uh, signed a four-year, ninety-six million, including twenty-five million signing bonus, fifty-nine million guaranteed. So he's, so he's making, 20, making like twenty bucks a check or twenty bucks a game. Tw- he's making twenty-four million a year. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Twenty twenty bucks a game, and he's already got all the rest. Yeah, he's chilling, dude. Wow. Mm. Wow. 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 Go for him. Mm. Hey. You know hey, Matt, I, oh man, coach, I hurt my knee, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> well, I'm so excited for it. And we've been talking about football. Can we do our football draft? Oh, fuck. Hold on. This fucking chair. That's a yes. Okay. We'll do it. Okay. Make sure that's all I had for more than half. One through Caleb Williams is a bitch. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck you, Eric. Fucking Eric. Um, I'll tell you what, when I was before we get into football, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna dispute the shit out of my fucking Southwest flight Wi-Fi charge. The eight dollars I paid for that, it's it's free. Not on Southwest, it's not. What the fuck, are you talking about? I fly Southwest, and I don't pay shit for my Wi-Fi when I get on there. No, they have free uh, like video streaming and oh, that's texting. what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, do. I was I, trying to do podcast shit. Uh, okay. Okay. And it, well, it if just, you, well, if you're flying once a month, you should, they sell like an annual subscription. You should just buy that. I don't think I'm going to do it's that. Cheap. It's, it's cheaper. Well, I'm just going to dispute the charge because it didn't fucking, I, I think I loaded like three pages in the fucking two and a half hour flight. See, in my mind, I'm going, man, eh, it's eight bucks. I don't fucking care. Well, it, it's more of a principle thing. Like, <laughs> Fuck you for taking my money and I didn't even get the service. I don't know. I think that's like stage one of of Karenism. I got nothing. I got I, nothing. For me, I'd be like, oh, well, that sucks. It didn't work. All right. Well, I was trying to edit fucking shorts. I was like, I ain't got shit else to do. So when that didn't work, uh, I was like, well, let me just plan out my fucking draft. So, so I started I started typing out like scenarios. Like, all right. So that's how I've been making these now is like, yeah, I know he's going to, I'm I, this, if he goes here, I'm going to go here, this, well, this, this, so, but I, I did like four different ones. So I don't, cause do I was like, ones. I know who he's going to take first, but you don't, who's he going to take second? So I, I just do the positions and I rank everyone. And then next that's to them, what I I, did. and then next to them, I put what round I'm going to take them. I just put a number and then some of them have like two slash three or three slash four depending on what you do. So I have like a one, I have the teams with the players just all typed out like the best. And then below that I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like just the different scenarios that I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's going to get all fucked up. Cause I did this once before and yeah, I think your first pick threw everything off anyway. So we'll, well I, th- I think I get the first pick. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, because there's one position that was really hurting. So, so you're gonna go straight for that. Yeah, yeah, I got to. Because uh, the other positions are like all up. All the other positions are like oh, I'm fine with that. I'm well, fine two, with that person. Two of them are kind. Con- eh. mm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Regardless, defensive line, where we're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah. Corner too, to be honest. Uh, corner's not great, but it's not terrible. Do you want to pitch it? Yeah. So we're going to do, wait a minute. What are we doing? Best. How do we pitch it? Best. All so we're going to do AF, all time AFC. What are we doing? Yeah, South? I got all time yeah, AFC yeah. South. All right. We're going to be doing the all time AFC South defensive draft. Yes. Oh. Yes, we are. Tough act in Tanakin. All right. <clears throat> you know how Pat Summerall died? John Madden ate him. True story. Not your best wasn't mine so (laughs) okay (laughs) all right um oh i'm so excited for this all right so my first overall pick in the afc south defensive draft and for those who haven't seen or listened to this yet um we have a cornerback a linebacker a defensive lineman and a safety to choose from one player from each team can't pick same player correct Bam. So with my first pick in the AFC South all time defensive draft at linebacker for the Houston Texans, I'm going Brian Cushing. That's where you went. That's where I went. Dude's a beast. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. I got three I would have taken over that. At linebacker? For yeah. the Texans? No, for all the other teams. Oh, no, I want to use the Texans at linebacker. Okay. Um. Well, that fucked everything up. In a way you didn't expect, I guess, huh? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and take Paul? Paul's a leader of Nizni. Paloosni. No, I think, I think instead of that, I'm going to go ahead and take, with my first pick, cornerback Rasheen Mathis from the Jags. Mm. Over Jalen, really? Yeah. Okay. Jalen was there for like three years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, with my second pick in that case, I'm going to stay in the backfield with my safety. Number two pick for the Colts, Bob Sanders. I like it. I like it. Hmm. That kind of messes me up. Right, row. Guess now. Why didn't you just do what I said you were supposed to do? That's what I was going to do. That's it. When I said I know what I'm doing, that was what I was doing. Yeah, but that's not at all what I had in any of these fucking shits. <laughs> None of those shits, huh? None of those shits. All right, where'd my shit go? Hmm. All right, so who, you have Brian Cushing and Bob Sanders, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I might just switch. Mm. Oh, ooh. okay, I'll do that. Do it. Uh, all right, with my second pick, I'm going to take linebacker Keith Bullock from the Titans. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Over Paul, Paul, Paul's Luzny, Zidney. Yeah. That guy. A thousand percent. I, I, was, I was told that Paul's Luzny is the best Titans linebacker of all time. Yeah, but it doesn't make him better than the best Titans linebacker of all time. He was a Titan, wasn't he? Who? Paul Luzny. He's a Jaguar. Oh, was he? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest. Brian Cushing and Paul were the only two linebackers I had listed. So you didn't have Keith Bullock. I w- I knew I was going Brian Cushing. Okay. Okay. With, Ooh, where do I want to go here? With my third pick, I'm going to go to the defensive line. And with my third overall pick, I'm going to go Albert Hainsworth for the Titans. I'm not mad at it over, uh, Javon curse. Yeah. Why? Um, I'll be honest. He was voted the best on this on ranker. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was ranked according to the fans, the best. Okay. He's the best, uh, stomp on Andre Garrod's forehead with his cleats. I'll tell you that. It's, get out. I would hey get out of his way, man. Mm. Well, with my third pick, I'm going to take safety. Justin Reed from the Texans. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was my Texan safety. Well, last pick, since you didn't do it, um, at cornerback for the Jaguars, I'm going Jalen Ramsey. And with my last pick, I'm going to take, for the Indianapolis Colts, defensive lineman Dwight Franey. Oh, not Mr. Robert, huh? No. No, 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 no. No, no. No, 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 no. Okay, how how do you feel? I'm That's the exact team I wanted, so I'm I'm stoked about it. Uh... It is the exact team that I wanted in a completely <laughs> opposite order. Twist of, yeah. I know uh, all, we're just going to get roasted for not taking J.J. Watt. Uh, big time. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. He was, um. so I figured if I took J.J., I thought you were going to take Brian Cushing. No, I was taking Keith Bullock regardless. Fuck. I actually had Keith Bullock as my first pick. Well, I guess if I took J.J., I couldn't take Cushing anyways. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think both of our squads, both of our lineups, aside from what, Justin Reed is the only one that's still playing, right? Or he's not playing. No, 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 no. He's he's gone. He gone. Sorry. Who? Justin Reed? Yeah. Is he gone? Uh yeah. Pretty darn sure. Don't they have Derek Stingley Jr. back there? Uh, yeah, but Justin Reed plays for the Chiefs now. Of course he fucking does. They get who was that one Chief? Oh, Eric Berry. Ooh. What a beast. Eric Berry. <laughs> Didn't he like Matt, die or something? He had like Matt cancer. Or, <laughs> <laughs> just, that's where you went? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Good draft. I feel we're like all, I can't get fucking centered. All I like, liked picks. it and like hated it at the same time. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm definitely happy with it. Like I wish I could have just taken 
I would have just taken like all D linemen and put them at corner and safety. And <laughs> nah, I don't know how well that would end for you, but you could try. <laughs> Keith Bullet could play safety. Uh, JJ Watt could play corner on like a wide receiver three, probably. No, no, I'm probably not. <laughs> you, you're probably right. Um, so fun fact: Did you know Bob Sanders never played a full season? Always got hurt. Yeah, poor guy. Yep. Well, depends on what he did with his money, but. Mm-hmm. And he's got a Super Bowl, right? He does against yeah. uh, fuck you, Eric, the Bears. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, fuck you, Eric. Yeah, that's, that's twice you get it. No, that was three yeah. times. That was three. Well, I discovered um what that sour beer was. We discovered at Broken Barrel that one time, and the Dude, both... we discovered that a long time ago. No, like I rediscovered like what it was called, like the actual yeah, it's the beer. Duchess. Yeah, it, yeah, we talked about so, that like twenty oh, episodes we? ago. So the yeah. two, uh, the past two weeks when I've gone, they've been sold out both times. Mm-hmm. I, I just really want to get it because I don't think I've had it since that fateful night. So you got it? Nope. Oh. They've been they've been sold out. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying every time you go, they've been sold out, but this time they weren't. Oh no, this time I'm I'm intrigued but a little nervous about what I got. So we'll see. Well, I want to see if you um, want to have a little conversation about some questions and comments of stuff that can perhaps have you question your existence. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Sounds wanna, so exciting. Do you want to finish up on sports first? Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Would you? Wait. Would, oh, oh, you want me to do baseball? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I had a sports thing, but yeah, we could do baseball. I figure we just knock all the sports out and then get into the not sports instead of like jumping back and forth from sports and not sports. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, do yours first and then I'll do mine and then. Okay. Um, how these teams, <clears throat> how these baseball teams got their name the AL West. So first team for you, David is the Houston Astros, Houston Astros. How do you think they got their name? Something about space. Hmm. That's all I got. I well, think that's a pretty good guess. Um, but they're a good guess, but not uh, why. Well, I just hope you're ready for this original name. This is pretty great. Okay. Um, so the Houston Astros originally began as the Houston Colt 45s. When they were established in 1962, the team was named after the famous Colt 45 revolver, a nod to the Wild West and the pioneering spirit of Texas. In 1965, the team changed their name to the Houston Astros when they moved to the Astrodome, the world's first multi-purpose domed sports stadium, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. The name Astros was chosen to reflect Houston's role as a hub of space exploration as the city is home to NASA's Johnson Space Center. The new name symbolized Houston's association with the space age and its forward thinking futuristic identity. Mm. So that entire time, I can only think about one thing. Colt 45s. Yes. It's pretty cool. But not just that. Two zigzags. Why didn't that rapper call himself Astro Man? Oh, damn. That's pretty darn good, David. Right? That's pretty darn good. But that was only also just one of his songs. I mean, he had a ton Name of another songs. Afro Man song. Um... I know one, and I have it on my iPod. <laughs> I have it on my iPod. I got a bunch of Celine Dion on my iPod, but the only one I can tell you is the Titanic song. It's My Heart Will Go On. You at least have to have the title to it. I didn't want to sound too gay for having a bunch of Celine yeah, Dion. Yeah, I can't, I, can't, I can't off the top of my head. You're right. You're right. Um, how about the Seattle Mariners? It's on the coast. Uh, Mariners, Maritime, they're on the water. Fuck That's your cousin. Have a good day. Right. Mm. Wait, what's that saying? Uh, uh, roll Tide. S- slap, <laughs> slap, slap your cousin. Slap you silly. I don't know. Slap my, slap my uncle and call me. What are you Ooh, going for here? Slap my mom. Get your grandma. What's that's he not say a right saying. There? That's a song. And what's he say? Ooh, we shut my mouth. Y'all slap gonna my... make me lose my mind. <laughs> all right, we're getting sidetracked here. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Seattle Mariners. So the Seattle Mariners got their name through a public naming contest held after the city was awarded Major League Boo. Team in 1977. The name Mariners was chosen to reflect Seattle's close ties to the sea and its maritime culture. And as the city is a major part and has a long history connected to the shipping and fishing industries, the maritime theme was seen as fitting presentation representation 
of Seattle's identity. The name helped solidify the team's connection to the Pacific Northwest. The team officially began in 1977 as the Seattle Mariners. All right, I got a real tough one for you. Next one, Texas Rangers. Uh, I haven't the slightest idea. Well, let me tell you, kind sir, how they got their name. <laughs> so the Texas Rangers got their name uh, from the famous Texas Ranger Division, legendary law enforcement agency with deep historical roots in Texas. Ooh, ah, no one would have ever guessed that. Um, when the Washington Senators relocated to Arlington in 1972 and became the state's Major League Baseball team, the owners wanted a name that resonated with Texas's rich heritage. Naming the team the Rangers paid tribute to the iconic symbol of Texas history and law enforcement, giving the franchise a strong connection to the state's identity. Wow. So two things to that. Yes. Uh, one, I told you about that uh, professor I had in that criminal justice class. Professor no. X? Uh, no. No. Okay. It's like a black version that could walk. But he's bald? Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, but he said he used to be a Texas Ranger, and he oh, had a yeah. an unmarked Viper. Did I tell you oh, about that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You told me about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to that, I'm going to send you another picture. I saw this today about Vipers. If you turn the Viper logo upside down, it's Daffy Duck. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's a pussy. No. Let me see here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pussy. <laughs> you see it? The fangs are the eyes. Oh, that's really good. And he's got that little piece of hair coming down. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Damn. Never going to unsee that now. Yep. Well, I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to try what, to fuck up damn, everything that's what we needed. you've ever seen. We needed some hidden logos. Fuck. Next I have week. them. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, uh, they're on my phone. Mm. We can do them next week. That's okay. Fine. All right. I got the oath on the oath. I have to I did take an oath. I did uh, take an oath once. Oakland Athletics. How do you think they got their name? Um, well, baseball's a sport. The Oakland Athletics, often called the A's, trace their name back to the origins as the Philadelphia Athletics, a team founded in 1901. The name Athletics itself comes from 19th century amateur sports clubs, particularly the Philadelphia Athletics Club, which fielded um, amateur baseball teams. The name reflected a tradition of organized elite level sports. After the team moved from Philadelphia to Kansas City, in 1955 and then to Oakland in 1968, they retained the athletics name. The team's nickname A's became widely used, especially after the move to Oakland, where the organization embraced the shorter iconic version of the name. The athletics connection to their original identity has remained strong throughout the franchise's relocations. Gay. <laughs> and last, the Oakland gays. And last, and literally last, because um, they're in last place right now, the Los Angeles Angels. City of Angels, Angels? City of Angels, Angels. I love it. So the Los Angeles Angels name has deep historical roots dating back to the late 19th century. To, to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> to Michael. Uh, yeah. the, the team was originally named after Los Angeles Angels minor league baseball team, which played in the Pacific Coast League from 1903 to 1957. The name Angels itself is derived from the city's full name. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> Good luck. El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora Le Reina de Los Angeles, which translates to the town of Our Lady, the Queen of Angels. I butchered the hell out of that. Uh, when Major League Baseball awarded L.A. Um, an expansion franchise in 1961, team owner Gene Autry chose to honor this local baseball history by naming his team the Angels. Over the years, the team has gone through various name changes, such as California Angels and the Anaheim Angels. But in 2005, they returned to their original name, the Los Angeles Angels. The name represents a link to both the city's history and its original baseball roots. El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Reina de Los Angeles. Nuestra. 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 El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Reina de Los Angeles. Angeles. Si, senor. You got Me the gringo. You, English. you got the gringo trying to speak Spanish here. Come on. Yeah. Now. Mucho gringo. Mucho gringo. Right here. Aquí. I can't even roll my R's. <laughs> I got that flat <laughs> tongue. I got that flat uh, tongue. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Bleep. All right, move your camera to your right a little more. You, you Puebla, E Rancheros, Porque? Tacos, Del Grande. Odele, Holmes. <laughs> arriba, arriba. Why are you doing that? I'm going to figure out how to do this screen share. What's that word what that everyone calls each other? Like, what's up, horse? What do they say? Uh, Donkey. No, it's like, uh, uh, oh, cabron. Ah, uh, cabron. Doesn't that mean like horse? Like, what's up? like, what's up, horse? I can find out. <laughs> the other day I was watching um, 22 Jump Street. Mm -hmm. and Jonah Hill's pretending to be like like a Mexican dude. <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember that scene at all? I do. <laughs> he's like walking up and then Channing Tatum has to talk. And he's like, my name's Jeff. <laughs> my name is Jeff. Yeah. I'm from uh, Mexico. It was so funny. So Cabron literally means male goat. Goat. That was close. It's a farm animal. It says Cabron is a Spanish slang word, roughly the equivalent of English's bastard, badass, or dude. Those okay. are like three completely different words. If I was like, yo, you're a bastard, and yo, you're a badass, like, <laughs> you're not going to interpret those the same, right? You could be a badass bastard. That'd be cabron, cabron. <laughs> <laughs> cabron, cabron. You remember what so, they used to call me at uh, Ye old Metro Diner? Yeah, you, you asked me this like four episodes ago. Oh, did I? I said like, hamburguesa. Oh, yeah, it was chicharito, yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. Tell me the best athletes to wear number 32. Ooh. Ee, ugh. Okay. I'm going to try. Ee. Uh, oh, you're darn 32. 32. Uh, there's, like, there's like three that you should. Old Edrin James? Nah, he's not on the list. What? I was that was like the first name that came to my mind. <laughs> There's another running back that a uh, lot better that any would consider the best to ever do it. To wear thirty two? Was he a stealer? No. That was oh. thirty. Oh, no, that's thirty four. Uh thirty two best to ever what do it. What stealer were you thinking about? Oh, I don't know. Some old dude. Okay. Um can I get a team? <laughs> Just lost the Cowboys. Oh, Joe Jim. Oh, Jim, Jim Brown. Bram. Jim Brown. I, yeah, 32. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's yeah, a little better than Edron James. Yep. Yeah. okay. This one. Uh, one is widely considered to be the best point guard of all time. Steve Nash? Yep. Uh, Paul, <laughs> Paul George? <laughs> I don't know NBA, dude. dude. You don't have to. Oh, uh, he was a late. He was also widely oh, Magic considered Johnson. the... There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You saved me from age <laughs> joke. Your boy said Steve Nash. <laughs> <laughs> a little darker, a little taller. Yeah. Uh, one is widely considered to be the best center of all time. 32. Oh, like in basketball center. Yes. Uh, Kareem? No. You remember him as 34. He was 32 with Miami. Oh. Oh, we talk about the big diesel. What talk about that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be that Papa John pizza and then my general insurance over here. <laughs> one's a one's a doctor. Oh, Doctor J. You know his real name? Uh, what's it start with? J. <laughs> James. J Jamal. John. Julius. Julius Irving. There you go. Shit. I don't know my basketball uh, man. I'm sorry. Another basketball is Bill Walton. I heard the and name. And Carl Malone. Carl Malone says, don't run around oh, the yeah, pool sure. with a pair of scissors. <laughs> you ever see that SNL sketch? Carl Malone. did. Carl Malone says. <laughs> yeah. You got that big old receding hairline. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, got another running back that uh, killed somebody. Oh, OJ? OJ. I don't know. He was 32. One's a pitcher. <clears throat> Team? It's a good question. Oh. I don't know who he played for. And I should. Well, who is it? I'll tell you who he played for. Sandy Koufax. Ooh. Shout out of the dark. I'm going to say the Reds. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the Cubs. Okay. But don't say okay. He's like, that's the answer. I get a <laughs> Oh, it is? Okay. Okay. I don't know. I said oh. I have to look it up. Oh. He said okay, like I was telling you the answer. Ah. 
Uh, first picture that popped up was the Dodgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in the. Did he play with uh, Jackie Robinson? Was he like from the 40s, 50s, whatever it was? He was born in 35. Mm. Yeah, no, maybe. Yeah. He was Jackie Robinson was born 1919. So maybe for a year. Um, That's weird. I'm going to say yes. I said, did Sandy Koufax play with Jackie Robinson? It said, notably, teammates. Oh, teammates. Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella both clashed with Alston on Koufax's usage, noting the young pitcher's talent and objecting to him being benched for weeks at a time. What? I like how you got so excited for the number 32, and then you were like, Well, to be honest, know, you were like 32. I was like, oh, Edron James. That <laughs> <laughs> was my only thought. <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Robinson is from Cairo, Georgia. Oh, that's another uh, European city that's in in the states. European or African? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant. But we like, were talking. Cairo we're, is a little less desirable. We were talking about you know cities that were, we're in the U.S. and yada yada yada. Cairo. Well, speaking of cities, yeah, I have a game I want to play. Okay, this is real or fake. Oh, city names. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Are they just I U.S. Have, or just general? Yeah, it's just U.S. Okay, I have twenty total. I have ten real and ten fake. Oh Lord. Okay. All right. The first one's gonna be Marmalade Swamp, Louisiana. Marmalade Swamp, real. That one is fake. Shit. Oh for one. Okay. <laughs> Every time we do this shit, I think back to uh, <laughs> fucking the. That who said it? A president or <laughs> Nick Nicholas Cage, Cage National Treasure? And you're like, I oh, got this. Got it. First one, wrong. Second mm-hmm. one, wrong. wrong. It's great. It could be uh, real though. Okay. Good. Next one is Accident Maryland. Yeah, that's real. It is wrong. Yeah. Figured I'd knock that one out since you probably it's probably been there. I haven't been there, but I, I heard of it. The next one is Tumbleweed Junction, Arizona. I'm gonna say that's real. Thing. Fuck. Okay. I need to get all these marmalades and tumbleweeds out of here. Uh, the next one is Belly Button Flats, Kansas. Come on. Fake? It's fake. Okay. <laughs> next one is Soggy Bottom Springs, Florida. For the hope, for the sake of George Clooney, I'm going to say real. Fake. Damn it. Sorry, George. The next one is Booger Hole, West Virginia. <laughs> fake. <laughs> booger hole. Come on. You already live in that state. Who said this is a good idea? Let's name a booger hole. Think about who's naming it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a booger hole over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one is Monkey's Eyebrow, Kentucky. I'm say fake. It's real. Shit. Damn. Not good uh, at this. Uh, in honor of where I'm at, the next one is Bing Dong, Texas. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> um, Bing dong, Texas is not real. <laughs> real. Fuck. Here. What are one of seven? You know, uh, yeah. Yeah. I look like Caleb Williams right now. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, what was you wearing? All right. Mm hmm. Uh, the next one is Giggling Goose Grove, Oregon. No, nah, no way. It's fake. That's uh, fake. Okay. Right. It's just fake. It's saved well. Uh, Dingleberry, Massachusetts. What are we talking about? It's just about. <laughs> uh, the next one I have is Slippery Noodle Ridge, West Virginia. Fake. That is fake. Okay. Next one I have is Rough and Ready, California. Rough and Ready, California? Rough and Ready. Fake. That's real. This is crazy. This is absolutely <laughs> crazy. There was, so, there was like 15 more that I wanted to add. The next <laughs> next one is Moose Knuckle Point, Maine. I'm going to go real because I'm going to go visit there next week if it is. Uh, let's see. Damn it, Moose Knuckle Point. <laughs> Shit. All right. Next Camel, one is, Camel Toe Lane? Like, come on now. <laughs> yeah. That's the street in Moose Knuckle Point. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The next one is Snickerdoodle Creek, Texas. Got to be real. That's fake. Fuck. Damn, I could use a Snickerdoodle right now. I sound really good. <laughs> You should do that one segment every episode. What's that? It's like a damn, I could really use a right now. Like last week, it was a damn, I could go frisk it right now. I have some 
tzatziki sauce in the fridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Every I'll, week. I was going to say, yeah, I, go for I could go for a snickerdoodle right now because I haven't eaten all day. And Yeah, okay. Uh, the next one is, why not North Carolina? Mm, fake. That's real. I just, I'm going to give up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go the... I, I'm going to go the opposite of what I think I would say. So continue. Okay. Uh, the next one is Gumbo Gulch, Montana. I'm thinking real, so I'm going to say fake. And this fake. Nice. The next one is Whistlepig Hollow, Tennessee. Is it hollow or holler? Hollow. I'm going to say real. That's fake. The next one is... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> next one is Toad Suck, Arkansas. Toads suck. The way you're laughing, I'm going to go with real. It's real. <laughs> oh, you're from Arkansas? What yeah, what fun? part? Uh, toad suck. I just like, you're going to put your Asmerson on Amazon. Like, <laughs> every time you place an order, Toad suck Arkansas. RSVP to our wedding, Toad suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next one is Hell, Michigan. Real. It's real. That's the whole state. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next one is Truth or Consequence, New Mexico. Come on, fake. Truth or Consequence? <laughs> it's, it's for fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely the ridiculous. La <laughs> the last one I have is Lizard Lick, North Carolina. That's got to be real. That's real. Yeah. Lizard Lick. You know what? I think I, I think I know why I know that. Isn't there a show back like when like Pawn Stars was popular called Lizard Lick Towing? Hold on. I think there was. And I think the only reason I know that is because of that show, Lizard Lick Towing. American reality show. Yeah. Yeah, they're from North they're, Carolina. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. North Kakalaki. Oh, man. They are tried and true. Woo -wee. Have you seen that city in um, or town? Uh, fuck. I don't know where. Like Denmark or it's somewhere out there in the middle of Europe. It's called Fuck It. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Okay. And there's okay. also a, it's like a cologne or a perfume brand. It's called like Fukuk. It's S C U K. <laughs> Fuck. Fukuk. Fukuk. Yeah. There's uh, a, um, I'll have to find the video. I'm going to send it to you. It's this guy who's like doing one of these like fake, like British documentary things. He's like, everything here in Fuck It is great. <laughs> these, it's like P H U K E T. No, it's, it's F U C K I T. Oh. Uh, there's also a P-H-U-K-E-T somewhere. Oh, no, it's it's not fuck it. It's fucking. It's fucking. That's what it is. Okay. And he's like, and this is the fucking church. <laughs> you haven't seen that? So there's a fuck it island in Thailand. Okay. And that's, that's the P-H-U-K-E-T. So fucking is in Austria. Okay. It's super funny, though. And he's like, he's like out in the street. He's like... And we see now the school children, the, or no, and now we see the fucking school children <laughs> playing on the fucking playground. It's hilarious. It's the super funny. Playground. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And this is the fucking graveyard. <laughs> it's super funny. Super funny. So you could go to fuck it for $1,200. Yeah. How much is the Wi Fi? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully free. 1199 Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're paying for. Golly. So that's, that's actually something that I had is uh, like the price of flights. Are crazy, like, stupid, expensive? Yeah. Not just that, though. Like, they have skyrocketed. But why is it like X amount of dollars to go here, half the price to go here? Uh, destination locations, I guess. Yeah. Or they know that these are also you know, like hubs for, um, so what I'm looking for here. Um, flights that have different stops. What am I trying to say here? Uh, layovers, layovers. There you go. Yeah. So they know that that's so, a big layover hub. Well, I know San Antonio is, they said there was like 28 people on the plane that were staying on the plane and going Damn. to Vegas. Yeah. So um, my, my flight here from Monday to Thursday, it's like $890. Was like round the round trip was eight ninety, but when I, I think, came out of February, it was like less than six hundred. When I flew to Maryland in July, I think round trip was close to six. That's a lot. Who'd yeah. you fly? 
Southwest. I only fly Southwest. Okay. I only fly uh, whatever I can get a direct flight out of. Oh, out of Tampa? Yeah. So we did Spirit, which was not terrible. Well, I, I've I've gone the route of um, Melbourne, which has like one to two layovers, but it's like eight hour. It's like an eight, nine hour round total trip, like from Melbourne to Maryland is like eight to nine hours. It's a lot cheaper. It's like only it's like under it's like sub 200. It's not worth it. No, no, because it's either Melbourne to Atlanta to Raleigh to BWI or Melbourne oh, like multiple layovers or like Melbourne to Memphis to BWI. But the Memphis, you have to sit there for three hours and it's just not worth it, dude. It's totally not worth it. I, it's the only part that's worth it is when I land back in Florida and I'm like, oh, OK. It's the only part it's I'd rather pay the extra couple hundred dollars for direct flight. Yeah. And I love Southwest. I'm with you there. They're great. I fucking hate Southwest. Nah, it's the best airline. It's not. It is. And I'll tell you why. I was talking to my dad about it because the stupidest fucking thing in the world is not a signing seat. That is the dumbest fucking it's business fine. model. It's fine. No, it's not. It works perfect. It's dumb. It doesn't. It does. If you're an A, all the A's get on. If you're a B, all the B's get on. If you're a C, all the C's get on. Have a good day. Right. So say say you're, you got, I don't know, eight families of three or four B and C. How many of them are sitting together? Well, that's their choice to to do that. They could pay to sit together. They could pay, they could pay to fly a different airline. No, they said upgrade your, your boarding to A1 to A15, $60 for one ticket. So, so I, I'm paying 900 it's, bucks it's, for a fucking flight. And then you want to charge 60 a ticket to upgrade to make us sit not together. True. That's not true. So what's not may, true? Maybe to get to one through 15. But when I flew to Maryland, I was like, that B, was the only thing that let me upgrade. I was like, B something. It was like, do you want to upgrade to a, to bird f- to board first? And I was like, sure. It was like $25. And I got, I got like what I got like one of the last days, but I still got an A. So I got to board. I got to pick my so the, seat. The only option it gave me was upgrade to one through 15. It could have just been because of how full the flight was. Although my flight was completely full. It's still, it's still a horrible fucking business model. And they're changing it. Dad said he read their change, it, but it hasn't changed yet. It's fucking stupid. Go on, check in, pick your seat. You're done. I've never had a single issue with Southwest. I haven't either, but I haven't been a family of four flying in fucking group C. Well, then worry about it when you got to worry about it. I mean, for now, it's fine. It's still dumb. Yeah, it's dumb for them, not for you. It, Who gives a shit? It's a dumb business model. <laughs> Have the, go fly Delta or American if you think it's dumb, like, and you got a family of I four. Prefer Delta. Well, then fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lay over four times. I do. I do love their uh, their business model of bags fly free. I'm doing air quotes right now, but no, yeah. no. Your ticket costs fifty more dollars than every other ticket because your bag yeah. flies free. Flies free. Yeah. yeah. I did tell you about how I got searched right in Maryland, both going up uh, and down. <laughs> like you know when you go through the X-ray thing and like you look back and it. Okay, no, so you like tell me you got searched though. We just talked yeah. about the uh, metal detector. So, oh, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. My, talk about 9 11. Yeah. So, on my way up, like my armpit showed that I was hiding something. So, the dude was like, like, when you look at the screen, it'll like put like a red dot on like your body that's standing in that X form. Yeah. Of where they think something might be. And the dude checks it and he's like, now you're good. And then on the way back, <laughs> I get in. He's like, can you come over here? And I pull over. And I look at my, my, my picture of my dude like this. <laughs> and my dick is bright red. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. And he's like, um, so we can do this here or we can go to the back. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, this is showing your, you know, this, it could just be like sweat or heat. And I'm like, it's sweat or heat. And he's like, yeah, I still got to do it. And I was like, that's fine. Like, I get it. Do your job. And he's like, you know, I'm going to be up in there. And I was like, yeah, I got you, man. Go ahead. Do well, your thing. You like, you know, I'm going to be up in there. Like, what are you going to say? Like, uh, yeah. I, I was like, no. I was like, I was like, no, nah, go ahead, man. So I'm just standing there at like 830 in the morning and BWI and dudes fucking like you know how like you're in your boxers and like you got everything set where you want it yeah he unset me so hard <laughs> you had to go to the bathroom after and fix yourself yeah like like you know after you like you've gone through security you gotta put your shoes on no i had to put my hand down my pants and go back to the left like it was just like you got a hand job gsa uh, at least he had a glove on like 
What would TSA but stand I, for? I saw the disappointment in his eyes. He was like, <laughs> it's like, you know, I have to do this. And like in his, I could just see it in him going, what the fuck? I know this dude just like, it's like some sweat yeah. or like some, so, you know, and I was like, yep, go ahead, man. Do what you gotta so, do. I think those were my exact words. I was like, do what you gotta do. No. Why would you not? I feel like that's like a, like a textable immediately. Like, like, bro, I just got fucking grope by TSA. And like, I was just standing right next to like where your x ray stuff comes out. So there were still people coming through and the stooge just like manhandling it, just like flopping it around. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> nah, here we are. So what, what would that make TSA stand for? Uh, that would be uh, like transportation sexual assailant. Oh, I was going to go with like, like a testicle. Sure, sure. It, it's, it's more like a um, teehee. St- 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 stroked again. Teehee. Stroked again. I don't know. I got nothing. That reminds me when I was in the military, we had to like obviously train to like search people as police. And it was just like the emphasis they put on like turning someone around handcuffs them, double lock, and, and then you like go up and they'd be like like up in the in the back of their yeah, legs, like give them a good old fucking give them a good old snipe it, slide up. Or, like oh the old seal. knife and slide? Yeah. You don't feel like hitting their testicles like that, you're doing something wrong. You're not like, going hard enough. You're not sliding hard enough. I was like, damn, it really is a new air force, huh? <laughs> Son I'm going to need you to step to the side so I can air force my hand up there. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was surprised I haven't changed the name of the Air Force to like Air Shove Air fi- Airfields. <laughs> yeah. Air- <laughs> That's the name of the episode United States Airfields. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Man. Uh, let me write that up. down. For- <laughs> yeah, let me write that down. You want to hear about my beer? Yes. Okay, so this week, my poor choice is Florida Heat. Okay. This is the best Florida beer 2019 bronze winner, so it's not the best. (laughs) (laughs) This is the third best Florida beer 2019 winner. (laughs) Okay. Um, So I have a Florida Heat. So I have a Florida Heat. (laughs) I have a Florida Heat, um, which is a sour ale. Brewed with blood oranges and Fresno chili peppers. Fresno's in Texas, right? That sounds correct. It says to keep it refrigerated, so I did that. Okay. Uh, yeah, as most beers. <laughs> uh, 4.9, 4. 4.6%. So it's not that strong, but it's a 16-ouncer. It's out of, uh, oh, it's out of Vero Beach. There you go. Here's Where'd you your, get it? Total wine. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little orange that's all pissed off with a... Yeah. Fresno chili pepper hat. Okay. Right? And what kind of beer so, is it? It's a sour. It's a sour ale with blood orange and Fresno chili peppers. Sounds yummy. We're doing that pause for effect. We've been drinking it all the time. It is super yummy. So okay. it is, um, it's really hard to explain it, to be honest. Because um, it has that fruitiness and it has that tang from the sour, but it has that chili flavor too but not like chili you would think it's like uh, dude i don't know it's not hot but it is okay is that uh, the only the only way i can explain is if you tried it so one of those that like mm-hmm. like it's not hot until it gets in your stomach and then it like no it's it's, it, it's not even it no. just has that f- it just has that flavor of like heat of like spice okay yeah that makes sense um, it's actually really, really good. I, um, honestly, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it an eight, five. Like okay. it's really, it's really tasty. Very, very tasty. When I, uh, we might have to take a, a field trip when I come down in a couple of weeks. To Vero beach? No, to total one. Oh, <laughs> I thought the only field trip we were taking was to hit the spring. Yeah, we're yeah. doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's that's our Saturday plan. You might as well just see if they host the Airbnb. <laughs> as long as they got the football game on. <laughs> so I looked it up. There is a Fresno in Texas, right outside of Houston, but the Fresno Chili Pepper, California. Yeah, yeah. By uh, 
released for commercial cultivation by Clarence Brown Hamlet, 1952. Well, thank you, Clarence. Oh, and it's from the American Icon Brewery. Forgot that part. Oh, forget that part. It's only an eight-year-old brewery established 2016. Super good. Shout out Vera Beach. This week, my four choice from <laughs> 903 Brewers out of Sherman, Texas. Is Sherman. Called Cookie Supreme. Mm, okay. A strawberry, blueberry, kiwi, orange, sugar cookie, and cream cheese frosting flavored Berliner style ale. I have a problem with that. Go ahead. What's your problem? That's, I think that was all there is to say. When you say cookie, you don't think of kiwis, blueberries, and strawberries. You do if it's a kiwi, strawberry, blueberry. I didn't say, oh, I did say strawberry. I mean, it's, it's good. My, fir- my first thought was like it was going to be like cookies and cream. The 903, Cookie Supreme. Yeah, so I looked 903 and it's a... Uh, is that one the- of TI's area codes? Or who, who's Ludacris? Ludacris, there you go. Uh, it's, no, I don't think so. It's Northeast Texas. And I don't think that Dallas, Houston, it's not San Antonio. I don't know what's up there. Sherman. Sherman's up there. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Yeah. This one also says, keep this beer cold. <laughs> he said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's because you have big jugs. <laughs> Is that the name of the episode? That's because you have big jugs. <laughs> yeah. <Is> this- <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please read. This beer is packed with fruit. Let's... <laughs> no fucking kidding, Sherman. Oh, no Sherman. Shit, Sherman. Sure. Oh, no. What was his name in Bad Santa? Was it Thurman? Yeah. Thurman. You don't okay. like my no shit Sherman? The no shit Sherlock? Yeah, no, that was good. Uh, this beer is packed with fruit, much more than we've ever put into a beer, <laughs> and must be cared for, unlike other beers. This beer is packed with fruit. That's really funny. Um, it's good. I'll give it a, a seven, eight. Okay, so it's it's solid. Yeah, I don't know if I'd buy it. Did we set our threshold for eight? Eight as buying it. Again? You'd buy it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't, but I'm not mad. I bought it. So did you see the uh, a dude in the Olympics that looked like a fucking assassin for like Turkey or something? Oh, he got the silver medal. Yeah, he yeah. was like cold, coldest moment in the Olympics was that dude because everyone else has all this gear on and all this and he just walks up with his hand in his pocket yeah. and he's like, clank. The, the yeah. one gold. Someone with shit all over their face. <laughs> Why did the U.S. win gold? Ooh. Because uh, the Olympics weren't hosted in a high school. Damn. Uh, China. You know what's worse than having to pick between Kamala and Donald for president. What's that? Esports kids. Fuck them. Fuck them. Long and hard. Bitch ass fucks. Peace. <laughs> and we hit him with the long and hard every episode. I like how you hit him with the, the, uh, the fucking Xbox. The, 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 yeah, man. Shit. All right.